The Honorable Chief Minister, but of course, um, suddenly I received a call that uh, the meeting is at 10:30, so I had to make it. So my the rest the rest of my program had to be postponed. Uh, so please forgive me for that. I kept you in wait. I know that. And I would like to thank CII for organizing today's gathering. I was here in 2005. Of course, not not in my current capacity, but in my previous capacity, I was with, I was accompanying our president. And now it is a remarkable change I witnessed today, comparing. Hyderabad city of 2005 and 2014. Congratulations. The other day I was uh, speaking in another forum and I was uh, saying that it's very easy for an Afghan ambassador to be in India because there is such a friendly environment, so many well wishers of Afghanistan who speak for Afghanistan. There is no need for the ambassador to come and speak. So today I will only reinforce what earlier speakers spoke about Afghanistan. They represented me, I think, better, represented Afghanistan better than me with regard to the information that they shared with you. So I will try to repeat and reinforce their statements, their information about Afghanistan. What brings me to Hyderabad, apart from the emotional bonds that the two nations cherish, so luckily, I think we are the two nations a model for the world how neighbors live together and how can they live together I think this is a great example which I think is exceptional and earlier the ancient ties was mentioned by Mr. Chaturi with our great scholar Jamal Adin Afghani this brings me here to Hyderabad because the ties are so old, so emotional and th that ties and bond makes the two peoples as one nation sharing similar values, culture, the past and the future as we are moving forward with having soon inshallah a new government in Afghanistan and I must congratulate you for the new government in India that just took place, I think it's still a new government with a, such an impressive beginning calling neighbors on the inauguration day I think this was an excellent start this has increased our hopes <laughs> for this region to become really one region, one people integrate, share knowledge, share wealth and share values and I hope the rest of the region will also appreciate this great initiative by the Honorable Prime Minister Modi who called on the Sark nations to get together and move on to cooperate, to work together and that start was to revitalize Sark its potential in different areas, more importantly in economic.